Peter Finch, and you're a disgrace. I was having a look on YouTube the other day, I was watching some Rick Shields videos, trying to get inspiration to uh, break 75, and alongside the Rick Shields video, I saw some recommended videos, and I saw one of yours, and I see you've started a new series, which is trying to find out who the best YouTube golfer is, and you know, you've got your usual suspects, obviously you played with Andy, um, I see you have plans to maybe travel around the world and play some of the guys in America, Mika, good, you know, the, the good, good people, but I feel like you've left one person out and I find that extremely unforgivable and that person is actually Well, you said absolutely unforgivable, James. Think of the talent. Think of the ability which I've built up over all these years. The utter mental strength. It's unrivaled, unparalleled to any other YouTuber out there. Whether it's yourself, whether it's Rick Spiels, Peter Finch. How can you forget an 18-time 18 ma 18 major champion Leave it out. The best, the best YouTube golfer is clearly Harry Flower, and, and I, I don't know how you can't see that, how you don't understand that, and you really need to wrap your head around what kind of a person I am, and really think about who you might be offending, and more than anything just be careful just be careful Pete yeah because so Pete obviously you need to put Harry Flower on the list and also <laughs> Stay, hang on top of the list top of the list right on the top, top. all the others sort of just like merge together all the others Harry Flower in big writing all the rest in Small text. H A R R Y space F L O W E R. And also, while we're on this subject, we want to challenge you, and I know that you might not be up for this because we've not quite got the clout with our smaller channels. I'm at 70. Harry's, I think, still exists on 30,000. Right mate. Just go. But I feel like a, a North versus South challenge match is in order. And I'm thinking me and Harry take on you and one of the Northerners and probably not Andy Carter because he's, you know, he's moved to Dubai. Now he lives in Bristol. So he's, he's already softened up a bit. I heard he even bought an electric blanket from uh, Ikea the other day. Right. Electricity is, Bill, it's just going through the roof, if mate. If you did and, that in Devon, you'd be hung, drawn on cord. Yeah. So maybe you and Matt Fryer, because I'm not sure Rick would probably be interested so you Matt Fryer and me and the uh, the legend the 18 time major champion himself Harry Flower mm -hmm. you fancying that I feel like it's my obligation to provide the goods there it is Pete you can redeem yourself with this alright just keep smiling 